After being named head baseball coach at Allen County Scottsville back in 2019, Brantley Bray finally got to coach his first game recently. And as you're about to see, March 29th, 2021, couldn't come fast enough. This used to be a familiar sight each spring in Scottsville. The Allen County Scottsville Patriots in action on the baseball diamond. But Kentucky officials canceled last year's season because of COVID concerns. A year later, Kentucky high school baseball teams are once again allowed to play ball. Anytime you get handed a new program, any new coach, um, you know, you, you, you don't plan for things like COVID or interruptions like that. So, of course, when I got the job, uh, for me, um, it, it was kind of hit the ground running, you know, as it, full speed ahead, trying to get to know your guys. Of course, um, you know, being assistant coach going into taking the program, you, I had, you know, I knew my guys, but uh, trying to get them knowing be know better and how they're going to fit into your program and uh, how they're going to fit into kind of your philosophy. Uh, you know, we was working hard there um, in, you know, fall 2019 and, you know, early spring of 2020. Um, uh, we was working hard to build our program and kind of build what we was wanting to do. Um, but, you know, COVID hits and, uh, you know, it, ju it just shocks. It just shocks you because, you know, f for myself and for our assistant coaches, you know, we was getting fired up for, the, you know, first, se you know, our first season. Um, and, and something that I'd been looking forward to for so long. And, uh, you know, anybody who's, you know, been in the game, knows how much prep work goes into a season, knows how, how excited the guys get and, you know, um, how ready they are to go. So, so when COVID hit us, especially after that first scrimmage against Westmoreland, um, you know, it, it was just tough to handle. Um, and, and I'm sure, you know, it affected more people in, you know, more serious ways than a baseball coach. But um, just from my perspective, uh, you know, it, it was just a time where we had to focus on the guys and handling them and helping them handle uh, not being able to have that season. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, one of the toughest things I had to do is watch those seniors not get that season. It was, it was tough to deal with. Um, but, uh, you know, it's just something we'll never forget. And, uh, you know, part part of the history here at ACS Baseball is just something that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll have to take with us forever. I've spent practically two years wondering what it would be like, and uh, I really, it really didn't hit me until I had a chance to sit down about an hour before the baseball game. Uh, me and my assistant coach, Kyle Harwood, we sitting there talking, uh, and of course we've been so busy trying to get things uh, done and finishing up fundraising stuff and paperwork, and you know, an hour, hour before the game we sit down and we look at each other and we're like, you know, we've been waiting on this for two years now. It, it's, it's right here, and those butterflies set in, and you get nervous. Um, and of course, you know, I go down and talk with the guys and, you know, they're nervous, you know, eight, eight out of nine guys in our lineup last night had never had experience in a varsity baseball game. So everybody had those butterflies and, you know, I was make, trying to make sure I let them know that's okay. You know, that's normal. That's a good thing to be nervous. And, uh, you know, in reality, I was talking to the mirror, trying to reassure myself that it was okay, you know. Um, but uh, for me, um, you know, I'll never forget it when that first pitch is thrown and, and uh and uh, you're, you're, you're in charge of a baseball game and making those decisions, um, you know, I'll never forget it. And, uh, you know, I, not another group of guys that I would rather, you know, be leading. Um, we have a great group of guys. Um, and they, you know, of course, we would love to come out last night with a win. Um, that's our goal every night. But uh, nevertheless, I thought our guys competed. And I'm proud of them for the way they handled themselves. Um, and, uh, you know, and nevertheless, that, that my first game will be a memory I'll never, never forget. Well, after it was all said and done, we just kind of looked around and said, "Man, it's just, it's just, it's good to be back in the swing of things. It's good to be walking off a field, see cleat marks in the in the dirt, um, guys cleaning up, cleaning things up, and uh, you know, it, you just kind of, it was kind of a chance to just kick back and enjoy it for a little while, knowing that you know, season has started. We're playing baseball. We're getting guys back in uniform, and Patriot baseball is on the move. So. Uh, like yeah, I, so get, get, just getting to play, you know, was probably the biggest biggest victory for anybody last night. Just seeing the state of Kentucky, uh, getting getting on uh, Ryard's scoreboard and looking at the scores is just it is a feeling that I miss. Just you know, checking in on other coaches, how'd it go? Uh, you know, it's just a really good feeling, and you know, put gets gets us coaches back in our environment. You know. Uh, I know my wife appreciates, you know, season getting getting back going. 
Um, I, I can't count how many steps I've took pace in the house, uh, especially during COVID, um, you know, with my jersey on just waiting, you know, for season to start. So uh, I know it's a chance for a lot of people uh, around us coaches to take a deep breath and uh, enjoy it. And, and certainly for us, uh, you know, getting to be back back in our, you know, where, where we like to exist on the field. So uh, very happy uh, to be for baseball to be picking back up and uh, uh, just looking forward to enjoying this season with the guys. The Patriots play a 27-game schedule this season. You can bet Bray will have a new appreciation for the game he loves so dearly each time his team takes the field. Reporting from Scottsville, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.